I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in San Francisco for the 2014 Leader in the Light Working Forum. Joining me today is Jill Ziegler, the Sustainability Manager with Forest City Enterprises. Jill, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, last year, your company published its first sustainability report using GRI guidelines. Mm -hmm. What was the rationale behind reporting now? Well, we've been working at sustainability for about 10 years now. It's been a core value of ours since 2003. So I think we just decided it was time. We've always sort of had in the back of our mind that we wanted to report externally on all of our efforts, but we really wanted to, you know, frankly, have a handle on what we were doing and have some great programs in place and something good to tell the public about before we put together a report. So I think we just kind of felt it was time. And we chose GRI because we really wanted um, an, an accepted framework so that our report could be compared to others, you know, whether they're real estate peers or just other GRI reporters in general. And we, we did a lot of due diligence in terms of different types of frameworks that we could use. And we felt GRI was the most comprehensive, but also flexible enough to allow us to do what we wanted to do. And what has been the response from shareholders? Um, you know, it's been really good. Um, I think that everybody, all of our audiences that we targeted, internal and external stakeholders, have really thought it was just an amazing report. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of specifics, frankly, right now, but um, I know that our associates loved seeing all of this information in one place. You know, they know that they work at a great company, but just to see it all in one nice pretty format was really great for them. And they learned a lot, even though they may have worked at Forest City for 10 or 20 years even. Um, and I do think that shareholders and a lot of external rating agencies have definitely picked up on it. And we've seen some positive impact from that. And here at the Working Forum, we have a lot of the companies that are sort of on the, the cutting edge of reporting, but there are a number of other real estate companies that are just looking to get into this. What advice would you give them? What metrics, what types of things should they look to include in their reporting? Um, well, I would say that, you know, it, it, especially with GRI, it's really what's material to your own company. So I think you need to do what's best for you and track what's best for you. Now with real estate, no matter how, how different or diverse we are, there are going to be certain things that are important. You know, energy and water and waste are just the really big ones. But if you're doing a report like GRI, there's a lot of social aspects as well. You know, HR related things. How do you treat your company? Diversity and inclusion and um, other things like that. And then there's also governance. You know, how um, how's your company run? Is it ethical? You know, how the, the stock split and things like that. So I think it's good to have a handle on all three of those areas and make sure that you build a team internally with representatives from all of those areas. You know, you need the key people who are going to make it easy for you to gather that information and tell your story. So having all of those folks on board with you up front is probably my biggest piece of advice. Jill, thank you so much for joining us. Today. Oh, sure. Thanks for having me. For more on this and other real estate news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. <laughs>